what is going on guys i am back again with another video in today's episode we're going to take a look at a bunch of different talent trees for guanwin ever since the new update the game developers have made so many changes to the talent tree in this episode i'm going to give you a few talent trees that you can pick one from if you haven't yet already make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content turn on the bell notification and never miss out like the video share it with your friends leave some comments down below Let us do a quick overview of Guanwin before we get into all the talent trees. Guanwin is of marksman, peacekeeping, and precision. Guanwin just takes the marksman units to the next level. As we know right now, the marksmen are the ones who do the highest damage in the game. I mean, the archers in Call of Dragons have the highest attack damage. Guanwin just takes them to the next level. Let's go over the skills. Starting off with the rage skill, requires 1000 rage, called the chaotic arrows. Deals physical skill damage to the target legion 3 times in succession. Damage factor 200, 200 and then 400. When we go to the second skill, it's good for killing darklings on the map, peacekeeping, damage 15%. The third skill, all marksmen unit get 15% physical attack bonus and 10% march speed. Excellent skill for the open field. More attack, more movement. Skill number 4, damage dealt bonus up to 10%. Again, another good one. When we check out the awakening skill, when Guanwin's Legion launches a normal attack, it has a 50% chance to poison the target, dealing physical skill damage every second. Damage factor 100 for 3 seconds. This skill is just too much. It works in the background and it does crazy damage. When you make a talent tree for Guanwin, you should stay away from the peacekeeping talent tree. Peacekeeping does not work in the open field against other players. It does not work against Behemoth. You will just be waiting your points and putting yourself in a handicap situation. Now, I'm going to show you a bunch of different talent trees. We shall have different variations. We shall go full marksman and then half precision. And then we shall go full precision and then half marksman. You are going to have to pick one which is good for you. I'm going to explain some points and I'm going to tell you about all the talent trees that I have. The first talent tree that we're going to check out is going to be full marksman and then half precision. This one is going to be dedicated towards the PvP. Starting off with the foundational talent, you pick this one. And then at the second level, you can go march speed or you can pick the defense depending on which one you feel like is going to be good for you. Grab the health, come and grab this one over here. Now when you fight in PvP, many players are going to be hitting you and you want to return back a lot of counter attack damage. So from the precision table, we're going to come over here and take this last word which gives you counter attack. And then when we go to the marksman over here, we also have more counter attack. Now let us come back to the precision and see the points that we picked. We have attack, we have more attack over here, the counter attack obviously. And then for this special talent, I went with the Wild Wind instead of the Invincible. Here is my reasoning. Wild Wind is just going to give you 150 damage factor one time when you fight your enemy. Now when you go to the Invincible, you're going to get 8% damage over 5 seconds. Now let's say there are 5 of you hitting a single enemy. That enemy is going to be losing a lot of troops every second. It's going to make this skill not so effective therefore i would go with this one which does 150 damage one time the same thing will also apply here for the marksman it's almost the same talent here you get 150 and then here you get the damage 10 percent over five seconds again i don't know which one is best but this is my reasoning pick whichever one you think will work well for you Continuing with the talent tree, let's go straight to the marksman section. We have more attack, more attack here as well. And then we got um, the rage skill damage increase. Over here, I decided to pick the bull's eye. Now this one, I did not take it because in the open field, when you fight players, sometimes they like to run away. So this skill might not be of very good use. However, with this one, you are going to use it most of the time. And then from here, you have to pick this one if you want to get this. These other skills, I don't see them to be very compelling. Archers are, most, are mostly for doing damage. So we have here health. 
and then you have rage accumulation which is excellent grab this counter attack pick this one and the first talent tree for guan win with full marksman half precision is complete talent tree number two is gonna be a slight variation of the previous one that i just showed you this one is gonna be pvp and march speed i like march speed in pvp it helps you a lot so basically from the foundational talent i went with the march speed over here from here i switched off adrenaline rush and got this march speed here again i switched off this one and went with the march speed now here is why i like march speed when you fight enemies in the open field sometimes they are too difficult you need the march speed to get away also when you have high march speed you can get to enemies faster and you can start attacking them right away march speed is excellent for the open field now this is just my preference you can pick different talent trees that you like but in my case i like march speed talent tree number three is gonna be full marksman and then half precision this one will be dedicated to behemoth starting off with the foundational talent you got you get attack defense health now when you fight behemoth you want to get more attack you don't really care about defense from precision we get attack we get attack over here we're gonna use this counter attack as well and then over here you're gonna have to pick one pick one which you think is gonna work well for you in my case i decided to go with the wild wind when we come to the marksman area we have more attack more attack you have more skill damage and then over here we went with the bull's eye actually go with this one over here this one is the best for behemoth when casting rage skills there is a 50 percent chance that your next rage skill will deal eight percent more damage now you pick this one because when you fight behemoth the average time is usually five minutes so in five minutes you are going to be doing a lot of rage skill and this skill over here is gonna be useful now moving on here you have the HP you pick this rage regeneration and then from here you're gonna leave the counter attack you don't really need that when you fight behemoth most of the time there will be a tank counter attack usually come from normal attack damage behemoth are not gonna be hitting you with the normal attack therefore you grab these skills over here reduce your defense by 0.3 percent but increase your damage dealt by 0.6 percent take it all the way up to level 5 you're gonna get more damage remember when you fight behemoth you don't really need the defense you're gonna have a tank your job is just gonna be shoot to kill then when we come over here you're gonna pick the burst shot 150 skill damage one time i feel like it's great or you can go with this one if you like so this talent tree is good for guanwin and behemoth talent tree number four is gonna be full precision and then half marksman this one is gonna be for pvp starting off from here you go attack defense health you can pick the march speed if you like now let's start off with the marksman area we have already talked about this we have attack attack we have skill damage and then we're gonna pick this one over here for the pvp now i i try to not take this one for pvp because some players they run away when you try to hit them you're not gonna get that many rage skill this one i think will be more useful now going over to precision we have this one we got more attack counter attack which is necessary for the open field we have this one right here one time skill damage if the enemy try to run away you don't waste any time when compared to this one coming over here we're gonna go with the irrepressible in battle your legion mitigates 0.4 percent of the enemy's defense now why did i pick this one over this one so when you fight in the pvp chances are you're gonna get swamped so majority of the time you are probably gonna have less than 50 percent units therefore this one is gonna work throughout the march with this one you can easily get swamped lose your troops and miss out on this talent and then here we're gonna pick this one thing is if you pick this one your next point is gonna be this one over here and then we're gonna come all the way to the end and then go with the mighty slash 
When launching a normal attack, your Legion has a 15% chance to trigger an additional normal attack. This effect can be triggered once every 20 seconds. Now I feel like this one is good. And then we have the Mark of War. Increases the attack of your Legion by 0.5% every 10 seconds up to a maximum of 3%. Thing is, when you fight in the PvP, players are not just gonna stand there and wait for you. They're gonna run, they're gonna move. So I don't know about this talent. That's why I feel like this one is more compelling. Talent tree number 5 is gonna make some small changes from the previous one so everything is gonna be pretty much the same. The only difference is gonna be the two over here. Now it's a little bit tricky when you pick points from here. If you pick this one, you're not gonna be able to take this two. So to pick this two, you're gonna have to push this ones all the way up to level 5. In this case, we're gonna have this one over here. We're gonna pick this one and then we're gonna come here and grab the mighty slash. Everything is pretty much the same like the previous one. We, we have some good points over here. You have one of your counter attack damage over here. Overall, some good stuff. Talent tree number 6 also is another variation from the previous one. In this case, the changes made are from here and here. And then you come back and grab this. You have your counter attack. To return normal attack damage back to the enemy which is some good stuff you have some good points over here you have your intimidation you have more attack you have more attack some good stuff man good stuff talent tree number seven is gonna be full precision and then half marksman this one will be great against behemoth now the best points to pick against behemoth you just need the attack damage you don't need defense we're gonna take this one because behemoth matches usually take like five minutes. You will be able to do a lot of rage skill. You have your increase in rage skill damage, attack over here, attack over here. Now, from here you're gonna pick more attack. You're gonna get more attack. You have this counter attack damage over here. Now I like to go with this one, 150 skill damage factor. And then from here, you're going to get rid of Irrepressible and then pick this one. When you fight Behemoth, you're going to be using Mana Stone to heal yourself most of the time. Therefore, most of the time, you're going to be having 50% troops or more. You will be able to get 10% additional normal attack damage, which is great. And then we're going to grab this one over here. Pick this one. Go all the way to the end. This is very important. Pick mark of war when you fight behemoth you're gonna be fighting for more than five minutes so this talent is gonna be good for you this is talent tree variation number seven for the behemoth now let's check out talent tree variation number eight for behemoth now it's gonna be pretty much the same thing except the only changes is gonna come from these two at the bottom because you can either go with this and this which was the previous one and then now you can take this one and this one and then finally this one. And these are all the talent trees for Guanwin that I have. They are not the best, but I tried my best. The game is still new. We're still learning some new stuff. Let me know what you thought about this talent tree. Let me know down below if you have any suggestion. I will be listening. Thank you guys for watching. And one more thing, stay away from the peacekeeping. It's not going to work against Behemoth. It's not gonna work in the open field. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, subscribe. Until then, talk to you in the next one. Peace out.